everybody, my name is Rosa, I'm from Luna Lunatics, and today we're going to be doing Natalie as a creepy pasta. So for those who don't know what creepy pastas are, they are online horror stories that people make up and pass around to scare readers and all that stuff. Yeah. So you want to outline the outside of the eyeball. So I've already created the inside lining, now I'm going to do the inside of the eyeball itself. Just the outline before I put in the color. So now you want to just add the white around the eye and start creating the entire eyeball. Start to look like that. Want to turn your head a little bit, Natalie? So now you want to just shade around the eyeball with some black eyeshadow. I use some Shaney Cosmetics black shadow and just shading right around the edge of the eyeball to give it a little depth and dimension. Now I'm just going to add the red veins around the eye and make it look very veiny. So now we're going to add the outside black um, around the outside of the eyeball to really make it look sunken in. So now I'm just going to add the white all around the outside of the face, just fill it all in with white. Um, except for the nose area, you want to give yourself a little area there that will be black afterwards. So now I'm just going to make sure that I cover all the parts of her body that are going to show through. Uh, she's going to be wearing a white uh, kind of a straight jacket that we're going to create for this. So I want to be able to cover everything that's going to show in white paint uh, to cover the skin. So now I'm just going to shadow all around the eye area to really sink it in the eye and make it look like it's really sunk in and her eyes are really popping out. So now I'm just going to make the nose look like a skeleton nose a little bit. I shadowed all around the nose underneath the skeleton dark center part of the nose. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit in the center in a second, but I just want to create that shape right now. So now you're just going to add wax all the way on the outside of the mouth on the up to create this raised lip. So when we put the fake blood on there, it'll look uh, very creepy. I use modeling wax. I got this on Amazon. There'll be a link below for you to find where to get it. It's the best one that I found so far. It's a good one. going to make the teeth and I'm just following a picture that I found online of his teeth uh, there I'm making them white first and then I'm going to do the black outline and add all the blood
So now I'm going to just outline the outside of the teeth in red uh, to start creating a bloody, disgusting mouth uh, before I add the actual blood and the black around the outline. To the outside, right, right here, really sinking that mouth in, and then we're going to shadow all along the under part of the mouth. So now you're going to add red to the wax, red paint. Uh, we're just going to, not in any particular clean way, you just kind of throw it right on top of the wax. So that way you can get that color in there and then we're going to add the fake blood and the blood paste over that. Now I'm just going to shadow on the outside of this mouth with some black eyeshadow uh, just to give it a little bit more dimension and to give it a little bit more depth. I'm going to blend all that in. So now you're just going to add some black paint to the outside of the face. Shadowing that in, giving her a more skeleton look. So now I'm going to add Blood Paste. This is the brand that I got. I also got this on Amazon and I will put the link below. Right over the, where I put the wax, I'm just going to add the Blood Paste right on top of that and give it a nice bloody look. So I picked up this blood at the corner Halloween store, um, but you can pick this up also on Amazon cheaper. I bought it in bulk last year. I'll put the link below for you guys. I'm going to add the blood all the way around the mouth after the blood paste. Now we're just going to add the wetness of this blood over it. So in this part, I put on a white old dress I have from an old Halloween costume. And we're going to paint her hands white. And then after we will take pictures with that wrapped around her like a stray jacket. So now you just want to paint the whole hand all the way up the arm. Uh, so none of the skin shows through when we go to do pictures later on. hands around the outside edges. I want to make sure you're getting in all the areas. Can you put your knuckles out? Like inside the knuckle and also around the fingernails and kind of run it down the hand. Give it a little dimension like she's dead. Dead people don't have clean hands. <laughs> shadow as I've been using the Shaney Cosmetics. This is also a very inexpensive palette. I got it on Amazon. I paid $12.99 for it. It comes with 120 colors. The pigment is pretty good for this sort of stuff. Um, it's not so great for eyeshadow for long lasting but it's awesome for Halloween makeup and it's good price. Now you just want to shade in the bottom. And you don't have to be particularly clean about it because he's a dead guy. So it doesn't really matter. More than it matters to shade it in all the way around the chin um, from ear to ear. I'm not going to paint the ears white because the wig that I have covers the ears. But had it, didn't, uh, had it not covered the ears, I would have painted the ears as well. So this black wig I picked up on Amazon. Uh, I will also put the link for this below. It was just a cheap black wig, but it's going to serve my purpose today. Put it on our model. Not get her blind.
now I'm going to add a little bit more of this blood I got, this wet blood just under the chin. I'm going to try to let it just drip down on its own naturally. My model loves getting blood down her shirt. She just loves that part. <laughs> so I'm just going to squeeze the uh, Q-tips into this so it just rolls it down and naturally drips like it's supposed to. Just have a little bit more blood right there on the mouth. Just kind of want to do it all the way around the bottom of the face. I really make them very bloody. Like that. Big squeeze. And let it drip on its own. So this is the finished look. Thank you guys all for watching. Please subscribe and tell your friends. Share the page. Thank you for watching. Okay, so some direction. You're going to fall back <laughs> and act like she's killing you. And Natalie, you're going to kill him. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds like a plan? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. All right.